opponent pings to 10. Okay, well, kill us or get under 10, I guess. Opponent. <laughs> this could be so close. Croxa, okay. We'll discard a Spear Spewer. <laughs> Come on, just cast, cast a two drop. Tap out. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom, and you can pre-order all the Keldheim cards you need over at CardKingdom.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic, and we have a sweet historic deck this week. <laughs> I am excited for this deck. You might remember, in standard a year or two ago, there was this kind of like weird fringe deck that people called Meme Kid, based around Runaway Steam Kid and kind of almost like Storm comboing off with cheap card draw spells. Well, this is not just Meme Kid, but Ultimate Meme Kid, adding a whole nother level of memes on top of the normal Meme Kid deck. So we'll talk about what makes it ultimate in just a minute. Let's break down the deck, jump into our game, starting with the engine card, Runaway Steam Kid. So Runaway Steam Kid, the ability we're mostly taking advantage of in this deck is the remove three counters add three mana this allows us to cast one mana spells essentially for free if we cast three of them we get that three mana back so we can really go through our deck like crazy to support runaway steamkin we have kind of plan one for killing our opponent which is primarily electrostatic field in thermo alchemist these cards each deal a damage whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell so as we are casting cheap instants and sorceries making mana with steamkin we're also pinging our opponent with electrostatic field pinging our opponent with Thermal Alchemist, which is how we can kind of get these almost like pseudo-storm combo kills, where we're like, one mana spell, one mana spell, one murder spell, ping you, ping you, ping you, get that mana back with Steam Kid, do it again, do it again, do it again, and maybe just burn our opponent out of the game, kind of like a storm deck in one big turn. We also have Spear Spewer, which, eh, only deals one damage a turn, but still comes down for one mana, so it's free with our Steam Kid, more or less, if we could remove those counters. Then we have Cheap Spells number one, which is one mana card draw spells. Crash through Warlords for you, each just one mana draw card with upside that isn't really relevant for our deck and then light up the stage as long as we can deal a damage which should be easy with burn spells electrostatic field turbo alchemist spear spewer it's draw two for just a single mana so these cards keep us churning through our deck finding more spells to grow our steam can to make more mana to ping more with our field in our thermo alchemist and then we have some cheap bird spells as well spike field hazard technically in a land stop one damage and triggers all of our stuff shock two damage and triggers our stuff skewer the critics again as long as we can spectacle it which should be easy a lightning bolt that's legal in historic so these cards combined with our electrostatic fields and thermal alchemists and runaway steam can mana to help us close out the game but what makes this ultimate meme kid and not just normal meme kid and the answer here is a historic anthologies card hitazugu second right so hitazugu second right this card is so weird four minute instant if <laughs> target opponent is at exactly 10 life it deals 10 damage to that player so essentially 10 damage for four mana but only if our opponent is at exactly 10 life so if our opponent's at 11 it does literally nothing i guess it could trigger our steamkins and so forth but essentially nothing if our opponent's at 9 or 13 or 20 or 1 it doesn't do anything but if our opponent's at 10 it does everything in thanks to electrostatic field and spear spewer and all of our other pinging effects, Thermo Alchemist, our cheap bird spells, our deck is actually really good at manipulating our opponent's life total. So this is our extra meme. We don't actually have to get our opponent all the way to zero. In a very real sense, if we have a Hitasugu second right in hand, we're trying to get our opponent to 10, and then we just cast Hitasugu second right and win the game on the spot. So that's the plan of the deck. That's the goal. That's the dream. Either combo off with the runaway steam can or get our opponent to 10, meme them out with second right. Mana base wise, pretty simple uh spike field hazard counts as a land some mountains some ramen up woods for more damage in the sideboard we have tibble reshek instigator to prevent life gain graph digger's cage we have 12 total rares in this deck four of those are graph digger's cage but against goblins against uro decks it's really worth it Uros, especially annoying that's why we have multiple hate cards for it because the life gain throws off our math for memeing our opponent out with hitasugo second right red cat melee a braid fry for removal by force for artifacts and that is not just meme kin but ultimate meme kid for historic and that's our budget magic deck for this week so let's jump into some games see if we can get our opponents to 10 jake about with it is you go second right thanks for watching i hope you enjoy it and i will talk to you soon all right budget magic time we are <laughs> 
meme kinning, ultimate meme kinning in uh <laughs> in historic this week. And huh. Well, okay. I guess this is okay. We have a bunch of cantrips. Hopefully we hit another mana source so we can cast this electrostatic field and start Ugh. 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 Alright, land. Off the top, please. Opponent, mountain, and oh dear. Fervent champion. Yeah, we really need a land so we stop taking damage off Ramanam. Oh no, oh no. Well, Warlord's Fury. Yeah. Down to 70. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Well, we'll just uh, kill ourselves real quick here with these Ramanam Bruins. Opponent. Mountain. Burning Tree Emissary. Fervent Champion. And dead. All right. Well, that was interesting. Uh, yeah, drawing <laughs> two ramen up ruins is not what I would consider ideal. I'll bring in two red cat melees, maybe two of braids. Go down one second right. Go down a couple of spear. Let's go down three spear spewers. This does not seem like the matchup where we want to uh, damage ourselves any more than we have to. As we saw with our mana base in <laughs> game one, double ramen up ruins. Brutal, 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 brutal. Good news is we do accidentally have some good blockers. Like, a lot of our pingy creatures are three or four toughness, so if we can actually just get them down on time, not only do they start pinging our opponent, but they should also hopefully be able to block. All right, we are on the play. All right, this is much better. Uh, yeah, we'll wait on Warlord's Fury. This time we have Electrostatic Field and non-pain lands to cast it, which is nice. Opponent gets and hits us. We do gotta hope they don't just have a... Huh. Yeah, let's just field. We do gotta hope they uh, don't just have, like, multiple Burning Tree Emissaries. That would be uh, unfortunate. Uh, Alright, Robber of the Rich. Doesn't get to start stealing stuff, though. Well, we will block. Actually would not mind just drawing a land here. Light up the stage. Well, let's... Red cap melee robber of the rich. Ping our opponent. Light up the stage. Dig for land primarily. Ping our opponent. Whiff on lands. Pass the turn. That's awkward. Mountain for our opponent. Goes attacking. Eh, I mean, we'll block. I don't know. If you're going to lightning strike our electrostatic field, I think we're kind of okay with that. Opponent. Boy, you really want to draw land here. Yeah, all right, so they do Lightning Strike the Electrostatic Field, sure. All right, we draw a land, so we get to play the land. We get to play Thermo Alchemist. We get to Shock Fervent Champion. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Robber of the Rich, gonna start the steal by the looks. Uh, steals the Thermo Alchemist. Well, we will, yeah, I guess block. The blocking plan has been working. Opponent passes. Well, we will... Uh, let's just go for damage. Play Electrostatic Field. Tap Thermo Alchemist. Shock the Robber of the Rich. Untap. Ping. We're actually getting pretty close to the point where uh, one more land in second right is going to be able to meme out the win, potentially. Ramanon Bruins for our opponent. Chain Whirler. Not doing a whole lot here. And about it. Pass as well. Ping ya. Um, play Steamkin. Warlord's Fury. Ping ya. Draw a land? Hmm. Well, I guess we just pass. I think we'd rather... Yes, Spike Field Hazard is a land, but at this point, if it's going to be tapped, I think we want to just leave it up for next turn. I th think there is a chance... How much damage do we have next turn? So this is three. This is four. This is five. It's very close to lethal. If our opponent attacks, I think we... Eh, and Warlord's Fury is fine, so play Warlord's Fury. Now this is definitely lethal. No hit a single second right, but uh, Steamkin's going to uh, meme off here, I think. Hit ya, draw a card, and then we shock ya. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god, we're supposed to be tapping this. I'm an idiot. Ugh. I don't think it matters. I think we have enough damage that's so fine, but we did cost ourselves a point of damage. Uh, tap Alchemist. We're going to do it ahead of time now. You can't do it with the trigger on the stack, but so we don't forget. Uh, remove our counters. Skewer you. Oh, we got... Yeah, we got more than enough damage here. Ping ya. Untap everything. Down to six. Down to three. Down to two. And then a land for lethal? 
Uh, spike field hazard. I mean, you can see, <laughs> you can see how the deck can pour on a lot of damage. An opponent scoops it up. Yeah, that uh, that was pretty good. That was uh, that was not bad at all. Um, yeah, I mean, run it back. I guess. I guess that's our plan. Thankfully, we are a mono red deck that does not really care about Chain Whirler. And it, we saw exactly what we were talking about. Our random defender creatures are actually just, like, good blockers against aggro. Having 0 3s and 0 4s saved us a ton of damage. And then eventually, like, once we get the Steamkin going, things get pretty sweet. Alright. Opponent. On the play. Ooh. Oh, well, we're going to keep this. We're going to trust that we hit land number two. With land number two, I like this hand. Oh, second rank. Oh, that's a minute away. Let's just Warlord's Fury. See if we can hit our land. Okay. There's land number two. That means we can start playing walls, which is a big deal. Steamkin for our opponent. Hmm. Do we give our opponent... How bad does this go? One mana spell, one mana spell. Ugh, all right. All right. I guess we got to kill it. Would have rather played an electrostatic field or something first but it's too risky they just go one drop one drop one drop remove the counters and just dump their hand opponent all right here comes the burning trees and steamkin two yeah they would have had a pretty good steamkin turn i'll play a land play electrostatic field and spear spewer still very worried about this steamkin going off we can't actually just kill it here if it gets up to four to four power, so we'll see. Soulscar Mage, grows a Steamkin. Opponent goes combat, attacks. Well, I guess we block Burning Tree. Still kind of okay with them throwing burn spells at Electrostatic Field. Not okay with losing it for free to Steamkin though. All right, opponent, yeah, yeah, yeah. Down to 17. Land go. Hmm. I'll play Thermo Alchemist. I really want to kill this Steam. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they don't have an instant. Ping ya. Skewer Steamkin? Oh, okay, so that works. That's good. That is very good. We're not dead. Please don't cleave us, because we don't actually have a clean answer to that. There is a chance that we can get the Hidasuku second right kill here. Opponent attacks us. Well, we're going to block. Still okay with... Oh, not not ember cleave we're not okay with ember cleave we're okay with burn spell on an alchemist if it comes down to it but i guess they can pump with castle embreath interesting opponent passes Ooh, melee's good well let's all right tap thermo alchemist well now our goal is to find a land and get our opponent to exactly 10 and probably have them tap that ramen on bruins warlord fury untap red cat melee is huge because that means we don't die to ember cleave Ooh, another alchemist hmm well tap alchemist ping yeah I think we're going to wait because I do want to leave up this melee. The easiest way we lose here is our opponent top decking. Ooh. All right. Well, we are a little greedy, though. A little. <laughs> as long as we get a land here, it's fine. We still have our defense. We're kind of alchemisting off. Well, or I'm not Bruins. Go. All right. I mean, opponent's down to 16. We have the proper amount of lands. Whoa! The walls! The walls! <laughs> well, we didn't get the... <laughs> we didn't get the Hidasugu second right ultimate meme kid kill, but we did see meme kid go off, and uh, we did see the power of uh, playing a bunch of zero... Zero whatevers. Twos, threes, fours. <laughs> Mono Red just apparently can't get through that. <laughs> Pony even had a good hand. They had double steam kid. They had a bird spell. I guess they... Did they flood? Not really. I mean, we have four lands, too. We were actually digging desperately for lands. Five with the spike field hazard, so... Yeah? All right. <laughs> uh, I think if this game continued, while our opponent being able to lose life with the Ramadan Bruins complicates things, I think there's a decent chance that we're going to end up with this Hidasuku second right kill, because we can... Uh, Bones is 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Next turn, ping, ping, that is 10. And that means if our opponent ever taps this Ramadan Bruins in a way where they can't hurt themselves with it at instant speed, uh, we got them where we want them to get the, the meme kill. So, yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are meme kinning in Historic, ultimate meme kinning, and... 
Ooh, can we keep this? One tapped land. If we draw a second one, it's great. We do have a cantrip. Ooh, let's let's mulligan. Well, okay. Two tap lands. Uh, we will put a one second right to the bottom. There's no way we're ever gonna need two second rights. Well, all right, we'll see. We'll see. Gonna need a way to uh, deal some damages. Ooh, all right. Fervent champion. Bone gets and hits us. Well, spear spewer. That does deal damages, and it also blocks a fervent champion, which is sweet. Boy, if we can fire up these light up the stage, is at least one of them. Things get ooh, Rakdos, interesting. Oh, opponent's playing knights. Hmm. Well, let's ping. Light up the stage. Land. Do we let the Stormfrist Crusader live? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's throw him away, Alchemist. Draw a guard. Take a damage. Okay. Well, now the game plan is to get our opponent to 10 and meme him out. <laughs> Put it with a big attack. Well, we'll block Fervent Champion. If they kill Thermo Alchemist, we can deal with that. All right, kill Thermo Alchemist, sure. We dropped to 14. Well, can we get our opponent to 10? Technically, yes. Well, let's Spear Spewer. Opponent goes to 17. Light up the stage. Hmm. <laughs> wow, we could just go purely for it. We could also electrostatic field. Well, play the land. We could just skew our opponent's face, skew our opponent's face. Opponent takes one from Stormfist and then try to second right him. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna we came here to meme and meme we shall. Hit your face. Hit your face. And uh yeah, pass the turn. Opponent pings to ten. Okay, well, kill us or get under ten, I guess. Opponent. <laughs> this could be so close. Croxa, okay. We'll discard a Spear Spewer. <laughs> Come on, just cast, cast a two drop, cast a two drop. Tap out. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> it's happening! Oh, well, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, the memes. The memes are working. <laughs> No one expects it to see a second right. No one. No one at all. All right, opponent's playing Rakdos Knights, I guess? Um, so, I think we... What do we change here? Wow, that worked perfectly. <laughs> uh, so, I guess, like, melees a braids in. We'll go down two spear spewers. We want the braids in case they have... Uh, Ember Cleave, which seems very possible. I don't think we're going to graph Digger's Cage. They do have Croxa, but they're not a graveyard deck, really. What else can we cut? You know what? Maybe... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, let's just go down all the Spear Spewers. Run it like that. I think Spear Spewer is... It's fine, but it's also somewhat weak against aggro because it does damage us, although... <laughs> it is a good way to control the opponent's life total and meme amount of 10. Uh, well, we can't keep a zero lander, unfortunately, as much as we'd like to. Yeah, all right, we'll keep this. Um, hmm. Let's just go, sh well, shock is removal. Let's go cantrip to the bottom. One cantrip to the bottom. I mean, spike field hazard actually seems like it can kill some of our opponent's stuff, too, potentially. Opponent. Meyer. Ooh, maybe they're more graveyardy than we thought. Mills of Croxa. Hmm, Okay. Well, play a land, play Thermo Alchemist. Uh, opponent. Hits us. Down 18. Agonizing remorse. Oh, this Croxa coming back is bad for us. That is something we're worried about. Take Spike Field Hazard. Interesting. And a land. Well, Electrostatic Field. Go. Yeah, definitely I'm afraid of Croxa. Murderous Rider on Electrostatic Field. All right, all right, all right. Opponent combat hits us. Won't well, ping ya. Electrostatic field. Go. Opponent's got, what, two non-Croxa cards in the grave? Oh, my God, so many murderous riders. All right, all right, all right. Well, we might have to kill this Mire Triton, unfortunately. Thankfully, those murderous riders are hurting our opponent. Won't well, ping ya. Ooh, they find the land, too. Well, Thermo Alchemist. Pass the turn. 
goes to combat, hits us. No blocks. Another Croxa. Well, we will discard Red Cat Melee. And. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, well, we might be in trouble. Ping ya. Uh, well, ping ya. Ping ya. Crash through. Untap. Ping ya. Ping ya. Light up the stage. Untap. Land? Oh, no lands. Oh, we really wanted to land. All right, pass the turn. Oh, we need to land there. Wow, this is going to be close. This is going to be super close. If we keep our Thermo Alchemist and draw land, I think we win. Yeah, opponent hits us. Oh, we really need to hit a land. An untap land. It can't be a spike field hazard. Opponent. Well, there's Croxa. Okay, this is it. Do we hit a land? Well, ping ya. Ping ya. Oh, wait, do we just win anyway? Oh, maybe we just win anyway. And we draw the land. All right, so ping ya. Ping ya. Shock ya. Untap. Oh, yeah, we, oh, we have this. This deals way more damage than I thought. I don't know what we were worried about, ping ya. Oh, we didn't even need a land. <laughs> All we need is the Thermo Alchemist. And opponent gained life. They got a fast Croxa. Does not matter against, uh, <laughs> against the memes. Our opponent will not soon forget that defeat. That is... Perhaps the first time anyone's died to hit a Sugu second right. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes. Wow, that was sweet. <laughs> All right. Budget magic time. We are playing ooh, Ultimate Memekin in, uh, in Historic. And we got the second right. We've got the second right. Swamp for our opponent, Knight of the Ebon Legion. Well, huh. Uh, let's just play a land. Play Thermo Alchemist. Well, we got a plan, which is to ping our opponent to 10 and then <laughs> meme him. <laughs> Literally no one expects this. No one. Oh, boy, down to 17. Down to 16. Okay. Okay. Opponent's getting themselves close to being dead without us doing much. I like this. Opponent passes. Uh, well, yeah, well, we'll help you. Boom. 15. Uh, well, play... Do we want Electrostatic Field? The problem is it's hard to control. Let's just ping you, light up the stage. Untap. We need a land. Ugh, no one... Oh, no! And now our opponent knows about the second right. Uh, well, ping you. Warlord's Fury. Play a land. Pass the turn. <laughs> Pony plays a swap. Goes to combat. Attacks us. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, block Dusk Leech and sell it. Down to 17. Gifted Etherborn. Well, we will ping ya. And do we want to ping ya? Are we going to draw land? I don't ping ya. Come on, land. Land. Untapped variety, please. Skewer. Well, okay. Do we have to just kill our opponent naturally? Ping ya. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna actually try to kill him and forget about our second rights. Skewer. Ping ya. Untap. Yeah, I guess we're doing it the old fashioned way. I mean, we had the meme kill if we had hit one more land, but we had the light of the. Ha! Ah, opponent! Gives up anyway. <laughs> oh, if we had hit one more land, we had the meme dream. Uh, I think we just bring in Tibalts, honestly. Tybalt's in, down, Spear Spewers, run it like that. Tybalt stops the lifelink, which with Sorin and with Gifted Aethermorn, uh, probably is important against vampires. Plus, I mean, we got a reasonable amount of removal and <laughs> oddly effective blockers. Oh, I wanted the meme kill there. I will say, Hidusugu's uh, second right does get a little bit worse after uh, the opponent sees it. Thoughtseize, sure. I mean, it's all just replaceable burn spells and a cantrip. So, yeah, whatever. And that does hit our opponent for two. All right, takes the skewer. Well, there's Tibalt. Tibalt's not bad. Opponent plays land passes. Well, crash through. Ugh. Well, now we're kind of drawing a lot of lands. Pass the turn. So I'm for our opponent. Please no Sorin. Opponent passes. Uh, well, hmm. Play him out and play Tybalt. Start making dorks. All right. 
opponent murderous riders it, sure. That does give them some life gain, I guess. There's the murderous rider. Even more lands. Hmm. Huh. Are we gonna full price a light up the stage? Let's, we have so many lands, let's. Spike field hazard our opponent. Light up the stage. Play a land, thermo alchemist. No attacks. So opponent does get to start gaining life here, which is annoying. But we, hitting another light up the stage is good for next turn. Opponent, all right, has removal, sure. Hits us, gain some life. Another Tibalt would be fine. And Blood Chief's Thirst. All right, all right, all right. So opponent's got the removals. Well, hit our opponent's face. Light up the stage. Hope for something sweet. All right, land Tibalt. Mega Dork. Oh, this could be super close. About it. Opponent's at 14. We do have the second right. Is there any way we could get them to exactly 10 and Jacob out? <laughs> We're doing it the hard way. We're doing it in flood out mode. Uh, poo, nint. Yeah, our opponent being able to kill all of our pingers has made this a bit harder. So how can we deal four points of damage? I guess it's got to be skewer. All right, heads to ball. No life gained. Knight of the Eben Legion. Ooh, Soren. Okay. We draw even more lands, which is super awkward. I'll pass the turn. Yeah, if our opponent can start gaining life here, that's real bad. Takes up, goes to combat. Sure. Do we want to block? If we block, we ping our opponent to thir- Well, hmm. We ping our opponent to 13. All right, let's block. So Tybalt dies. We ping our opponent. Gifted Etherboard. Ooh, okay. Come on, Spike Field Hazard. Hit ya. To 11. Spike Field Hazard is game. Come on, deck. Light up the stage. Oh, uh, but then our opponent. Oh! So close. But our opponent's gonna gain so much life that, yeah, they got us. Oh, oh, we were so close. So close to the meme kill. Opponent had so much removal. Maybe we bring in these abrades. The Tibalts did seem good, especially with the amount of life gain our opponent had. Let's go down one crash through. Boy, you've not drawn many Steamkins. That is uh, that is for certain. One shock, one crash through. A braid, we've seen Gifted Aetherborn and now Murderous Rider. So I feel like three toughness is a important number to be able to kill against our opponent's deck. Shock does not get that done. Well, we play first. So we get Cantrip. Electrostatic field, probably gonna die. We do have a skewer to, well, it's mulligan. All right, well, I guess this is okay. We will put random cantrip to the bottom, hopefully. There we go. Well, hazard, go. Oh, opponent, swamp, and we get Thawseized, we are. Yeah, the amount of life gain in our opponent's deck is definitely problematic. Takes Tybalt, well, land and thermo alchemist. Go, opponent. Plays the Castle Lockway and removal spell one. Yep. Well, Electrostatic Field go. Swamp for our opponent. Soren. Probably to put something ridiculous into play. Champion of Dusk. Yeah, that's uh, that's tough. That's real tough. Uh, well, crash through. Oh yeah, that probably beats us because it's gonna gain life link. And while we had plans to deal with stuff that was three toughness. Ooh, the Sorin Champion of Dusk Nut Draw is probably going to take us down. That's so much life each turn. Opponent gets and hits us. Unfortunately, our pickers cannot hit the Sorin. Opponent goes up to 21. And yeah, that is almost assuredly game now. Opponent. Wow, what a hand. Yeah, opponent had the, the perfect hand for the match. Like, literal. Oh, my God. Quite literally the perfect hand for the matchup. Like, our opponent's draw... Could not be any better than what their draw was. And, uh, yeah, all right, fair enough. All right, budget magic time. We are ultimate meme kidding in Historic this week. And, well, yeah, we'll try this. Forest for opponent, Llanowar Elves. We do not draw land. Ugh. Hmm. So we can kill this, but it's going to cost us a land? Is it worth it? Opponent did mulligan. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think it is. Ugh. Not happy about spending our only land like this. We're gonna, we can crash through to try to find one, or maybe we just draw one, but I don't think we can let that elf live with our opponent on the mulligan. Opponent, pathway, passes, well, crash through. 
Please, magic gods, give us a land. News. Oh, boy. Second rank. Okay. Well, that's not great. Opponent. Forest. And Spellbreaker with haste hits us. That is also not a land. Well, crash through. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, we can't really show our opponent that, can we? Uh, okay. And we will go to game three. Or two. Yeah, that was unfortunate that that's how that worked out. Well, that is magic for ya. Um, well, let's bring in two red cap melees. Go down two spear spewers. Run it like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Our hand was actually great if we had managed to draw a land, but I don't know. Maybe we should have played it differently and let the land of war live. But then our opponent would have. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, we can't. We can't do this again. We can't do this again. We can't just keep. We can't just keep uh, keep keeping hands with one land. We learned the downside of that last time. Spear, spewer, go. Forest for our opponent, land or elves. Oh, I would like to steamkin. Now let's spear, spewer you. Light up the stage. Hit many lands. Play the land. Kill land or go. All right, can we get our opponent to 10? Mountain. Does our opponent have a handful of burning tree emissaries? Zertar Goblin with haste pings us. Hmm. What's it? 19, 18. Well, let's play Steamkin. Play the mountain. Pass the turn. I mean, our opponent could definitely have Stomp, unfortunately. Mountain. All right. Or Domri's Ambush. That also, that also gets the job done. Opponent goes to combat. Gets in. Hits us. Well, Spear Spewer you. Down to 18. Hits us. Down to 13. Passes. Well, play Electrostatic Field. Spike Field Cave, go. Oh, can we get our opponent to 10? We have the meme kill. Oh, come on now. All right, so opponents just got all the Domri's ambushes, which seem very good against us. Opponents at 15. Well, hit ya. 14. We drop to 8. We play a Steamkin, which is not... Super helpful. Opponent attacks. Scryland. To the bottom. Spellbreaker. Oh, yeah. And I believe that this does it. Yeah. Opponent had the, opponent had the right draw. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Live in the dream arena. Yeah. All right. Budget magic time. We are memeing around. <laughs> In uh, in historic, we were playing ultimate ultimate memekin, and uh, sand's actually kind of fine. I actually kind of like it. We can thermo alchemist. We can deal a bunch. Of, if it lives, we can deal a bunch of damage with it, and then hopefully maybe set up this uh, Hitasugu second right count while land in thermo alchemist. Hello to you, uh, opponent. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Ooh, all right. They're playing a food. Oh, hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, well, play a land. I guess we should have done this opposite way, shouldn't we? Have light up the, we should have waited in case we get two lands. Well, that's fine. Odds of that are low. Well, we kind of did. Um, Thermo Alchemist. Can we win next turn? So this shocks 16, 15, 14, 13. I don't think we can. We need two turns? Huh. So this is three. This is two. This is extra one. All right, let's just crash through and ping you and crash through. All right, pass the turn. Okay, okay, okay. So I think, barring food, I think we got a chance of winning in two turns. Oh, Mayhem Devil's going to complicate things too, isn't it? Hmm. Well, ping you. Untap. Play the land. Play the Steamkin. Play Spear Spewer. Ping you. Spike Field Hazard. <laughs> Pass the turn. Well, we will see. We will see, we will see, we will see what our opponent can do. Land. We need to get our opponent in a position where they can't gain life with the food, I think. All right, well, ping you. Untap. Ping you. Skewer Mayhem Devil. We still might be able to do it with the steam kin. So we got to wait till the life gain triggers on the stack. Uh, all right. So we will pass the turn. Ha ha. 
Ping! We got it. We got it. We got it. Uh, Steam Kid. Ping you. Ping you. And meme you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> no one. No one expects a second right. No one. Okay, opponent is playing Jund Sacrifice. So we need to be able to... Hmm. Hmm. We have a lot of cards that could be good in this matchup. All right, let's go down Spear Spewers. Go up. Oh, boy. Can we fit everything we want is the question. We want a Braids. We want some Tibalts. We might want Red Cap Melees, too. Maybe something like this? Yeah, let's go up one Red Cap Melee. Yeah, that's right like that. We do want to be able to kill three toughness stuff outside of just skewer the critics. We could also bring in Graft Digger's Cage, which is good against our opponent's deck. Huh. Well, I mean, we're going to keep this. It's a smidge on the risky side because we only have one land, but we will see. See if we regret not bringing in... We are in the draw and we have uh, Warlord's Fury, though. Uh, see if we regret not bringing in Graft Digger's Cage. Opponent, Swamp, and... Cauldron Familiar, yup. Well, land and Warlord's Fury. Okay. Well, if we don't hit lands, then this goes very poorly. Opponent hits us with the cat. Hmm. Hmm. Well, boy. Let's crash through. If we draw an actual land, we would like to just exile this cat. All right. Well, we don't actually have that option. We gotta, we can't not play the land here, so pass the turn. Exiling the cat would be sweet, but opponent gets and hits us. Well, play the land. Play third. Do we go for the dream? Let's go for the dream. The dream and the meme with the steam. <laughs> Pass the turn. I mean, it probably just dies. Our opponent's not doing things, so okay. They have removal spell one. Sure. Opponent gets and hits us. Passes. Well, play the land. Play electrostatic field. Play thermo alchemist. Whoa! Bonus scoops it up! Bonus scoops it up! I think that Hidasugu second right took away our opponent's will to live. I think it did! I think that just scared them right out of their will to to play magic. <laughs> what a demoralizing card! Oh, that is the added benefit, I think, of Hidasugu second right. Is no one expects it, and it's a brutal, brutal surprise way to lose. <laughs> Well, uh, sweet, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Ultimate Meme Kid in Historic? And overall, we went 3-2 in our videos, 3-3 three three overall with one duplicate matchup that we ended up losing. Uh, so record, it was fine. We're exactly at 50% win percentage. More importantly, Hidosuku's second right was actually good in this deck. We had several to many second right kills. Actually, I think that is how we won most often. We hardly ever actually had to burn our opponent to zero in Instead, we are really good at getting our opponent to 10 and then getting them by surprise with Hidusuku's second right. So that plan actually worked way better than I would have imagined. Thanks to all of our one damage tappy creatures, we have a lot of control over our opponent's life total. And there were sub games where I think we probably would not have won if it wasn't for Hidusuku's second right. Probably the best example was against the Jun Sacrifice food deck, where our opponent ended up dying to second right with a collected company on the stack and and food tokens to start gaining life so if we actually had to try to get our opponent all the way down to zero that game it probably wouldn't have worked but because we have this really weird super narrow 10 damage bird spell we we're able to jake our opponent out pretty reasonably and pretty efficiently so i actually thought the deck was kind of like super fun to play and killing people with hitosuku second right is absolutely hilarious i will say the other thing we did see in our league is if we get our opponent with hitosuku second right in game one uh they do become a little bit more wary of 10 life uh, so that is a concern hit a single second right if our opponent's expecting it it gets much 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 worse uh, much harder to actually keep our opponent at 10 because even though it's historic and there's not fetch lands there's still shock lands there's still some pain lands like our ramenop ruins so there are ways that opponents can manipulate their life total so if our opponent's worried about ending up at exactly 10 it's kind of easy for them to be like okay play a shot go down to nine and then we're like eh, all right the good news is 
If that does happen, our deck can still kill him. Like, the most spectacular Mimius kill is definitely the Hidasuku second right kill, but if we have to, we can just tap our Thermo Alchemist and cast a bunch of spells with electrostatic field out and spear spewer our opponent to death. So I think the deck's super fun. It's super hilarious. If you want to try to get people with Hidasuku second right, I think this is a pretty reasonable option to get the job done. As far as how competitive it is, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. 50% win percentage is not horrible for a deck that has 12 rares overall, which is super low for Historic. And considering that four of those rares is Graftigger's Cage in the sideboard, and four more is Hidusuku Second Right, which is one of our meme cards. So considering the amount of rares in the deck, I think the deck's actually pretty good for its budget and can definitely win some games and do it in a spectacularly, hilariously meme janky way. So that's been ultimate meme kid for historic that's been our budget magic for this week thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here